Hey. <laughs> Yay. Clean <Same> seal. <laughs> Uh, it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Sunday afternoon. Yeah, they're not usually here this early, but I thought, um, I thought I'd do a live video because they sort of all <laughs> showed up. Look at this. There's a kookaburra arguing with this cockatoo. They don't like each other at all. Okay. There's another one up there as well. I think that's the mum. That's the mum. And that's the, one of the baby ones. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good, dude. There's a bit of an argument going on here. <laughs> These kookaburras are so funny. They're kind of weird birds, but they're, they're kind of cool at the same time. They're really intense. A lot of copper fish here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sure is. Yeah, it's very, very loud. It's very loud here. Um, they've just finished a bowl of nectar. They were really loud just a little while ago. And um, they, they finished that off real quick. Well, there they go. They got spooked. I will come back, you watch. There they all are. You can see the whole flock of them there, look. It's actually started raining. I will come back in a second. There's one here. Here they come. <laughs> Here they all come. For some reason they um, they get spooked a little bit on cloudy, sort of windy days. Especially when the kookaburras are around. There's two of them sitting up in the tree there. They'll come back down as well. They're gonna start they're gonna start laughing, you'll you'll love this. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's pretty loud. There's a kookaburra up there, young one. He's learning to, learning to laugh. You can probably hear him trying. There they go again. Yeah, something set them off. If you can hear that that whistling noise, that's like an alarm sound that these um, noisy miners, they kind of trigger them. They're flying crazy everywhere. There's something going on. Sometimes there's like, um, you get a raptor, like an eagle or something flying around and they're all like really spooked out by it because they're predators. There they go. Whole flock of them.
see if we can see what's happening. You can still hear that that whistling noise. That's like an alarm call. That noise. I don't know if they'll, um, if they'll come back in the next few minutes or not. Kookaburras are still there. I've <laughs> been... Uh, good that you could actually make it this time. As you can see, they've all disappeared. There's still two kookaburras sitting up in that tree there. I'll we'll see if I can... Um, I'll get some meat out of the fridge and I'll feed it. Just started raining. Yeah, they've all taken off. They've all been spooked. I'll see if I can put this down and I'll go get some meat out of the fridge for these kookaburras. Okay, let's see if we can feed this kookaburra. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Hurry up. See if I can get him to come over here. Come on. Here he comes. Here he is. There he is. Nearly took my finger as well. <laughs> that's messy stuff here. Hang on, that's my finger. Now the lorikeets are showing up. Here they are. Go back again, yeah. Where's your brother? Down there? Where is he? Yeah. Hey, that's my finger. 
and some lorikeets. Here's the other one in the tree. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. He wants to be fed down there. Okay. There's another one, but he's um. <laughs> it's, I'm juggling a camera. I've got this meat in my hand, and it's kind of really awkward at the same time. You've had enough, that so. Here yeah, are you. Wait. There he goes. I'll give the lorikeet some more food, but I'll um, let it go wash my hands. Okay, I'm back. I just had to go wash my hands. Just if I can get this. Come on, come here. They're super friendly, these lorikeets. Nothing bothers them. They're very loud though when they get all together like that. Can get really noisy. Went, oh wow, okay. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. It's um it's twenty twenty to four here on Sunday afternoon. Yeah, it is actually. It's, they're funny. Uh, it's like having pets that take themselves home, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day. All I got to do is clean up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, hit the like button, guys. <laughs> oh, hey, hello, India. Hope you guys are all right. Oh, 
Oh, there's some Corellas. Hey, um, hey, Bean, there's your, uh, your friend. Some Corellas. They're going to come down any second. Corolla, especially for Boone. I called them specially for you. <laughs> oh, oh, really? <laughs> oh, Corella wins. Who's Chucky? Hey Chucky. Hey, don't mess with the Corellas, right? Look at that. Hey, hey. Hey, Corella wins again. Oh, here they go. They just really spooked today. Here they come. Madness now. There we go. Oh, look who's here. Spider is here. Hey. See that I've got three three cockatoos sitting on me now. One sitting on my on my chin now. And two on my arm. Oh, I've got four six, six. I've got four. Let's see if you can see that. There's two of them. And they're not happy with each other. Oh, 
These two guys here, these are these are actually brothers, these two. Thank you for watching India. Good to, see, good to have you here. It's actually um, quite difficult to juggle all of this at the same time, but I'll try. I'm doing my best. spooked again. Watch this, look, watch this. There's a whole flock of lorikeets. Yeah. There must be about a hundred of them. <laughs> He's come back with the gun. <laughs> he must have flown off with it and come back with it. That's funny. Over just a, no, but there's a lot to clean up, I can tell you. these almonds. Well, I've been feeding, some of them have been coming for about, about 10 years and uh, I'm probably feeding two or three of their kids now. That's how long they've been coming. the cockatoo um, well they're not for sale because they're all wild but in Australia they, you could probably get a hand, hand raised one for about $80 $100 um, overseas they're probably about $5,000 or $5,000 I do, um, I do recognise um, a lot of the birds. You 
do get to know them after a while. naughty ones here today, especially that one there, hey. Sorry about my hand on the lens, but it's really hard to juggle everything here. cost me about 50 or 60 dollars a week to feed them because um, I'll get sunflower seed, I'll get almonds and I'll get the almonds in the shell and also get uh, nectar mix for the, for the lower seeds because they don't, well they really love the seeds but they shouldn't really eat them so I give them like a nectar mix here. He's been coming here for about 10 years, that guy. He'll, he'll shake hands with me. I'll see if I can get him to see if I can get him to shake hands. Yeah. Shake hands. Oh, you go away. Shake hands. Quite a lot here today. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, yeah, they uh, they <laughs> they have sex at their home. That's exactly what they are. Okay. For you. For you. Hey, I'm the greedy. <laughs> I got a little badly spot. That's exactly right. <laughs> Go over there. He's calling me. He's, he's asking me for another, uh, another arm. Okay, so this one here on the ground, that one, that one there, it just jumped up on me. That one is this guy's, this guy's baby, the one that's gonna, that one, the one that just flew up in the tree, that's his kid. Yeah, they do wake me up. That's my room there. And they'll sit outside my window there. And they'll start, like, they make a barking noise. And they'll try to wake me up. And I'll sit on my 
I'll give them some of these um, almond in the shell, they love these. It gives them something to do. Guys, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to have to tidy all this mess up now. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one.